Do you like to draw caricatures? Well, I can tell you that you can earn a full-time living earning money as a caricature artist. Even if you think you're not good enough yet, you're probably already good enough to earn over $100 an hour drawing caricatures at events and somewhere around $50 an hour drawing caricatures from photos at home. And in this video, I am going to tell you the basics for marketing for a thriving artist and how I did it and how you can too. And you can watch me draw this caricature while I teach you how to make that Monet. And by the way, these marketing techniques apply to almost any artist. So when I first got started, this was somewhere around 2012 or something like that. The first thing I did was to order a caricature online because I wanted to sell caricatures. So I wanted to see what that experience is like. So I searched around on the internet. I found a caricature artist who was selling caricatures and I got on this person's website. It was an artist from uh, Las Vegas and uh, I don't remember that artist's name. Sorry about that. But he had a great order form on his website and I ordered the caricature. I described it. I uploaded photos. It was actually a caricature of myself and I placed my order and sent payment and then he mailed it back to me. So then I knew all about the experience of someone ordering and then me receiving the drawing. And this is the drawing that I got from that artist and he didn't even sign it so um, unfortunately I don't know who this artist is but if you know who this artist is please uh, put it in the comments and I'll look him up okay so after I did that then I knew that I needed a website and I also was reading some marketing books and so I know that a website the purpose of a website is to make sales and collect emails a lot of people have these websites where it's mostly about their portfolio and um, they're making a big mistake in my opinion when they do that. I mean you're going to have lots of examples of your artwork on your website but it's all for the purpose of making sales and collecting emails. And the second thing you need is an order form. Just like the guy from Vegas had an order form where I can upload photos, you need to have a type of order form where you can, I mean, the client can upload photos of what you're going to draw. Because if you're trying to do business just through emails and text, and then you get really busy, it's going to be very confusing and random, and you're going to draw mistakes and have to redo stuff. But if you have an order form, you can get more work done and make more money, and that's what we're trying to do. Now, what I should have mentioned at the start is that there are a couple of different ways to make money as a caricature artist. There is drawing at live events and then also drawing from photos at home, which is like gift caricatures. But also that could be illustrations, that could be business logos, but it's a lot of drawing from photos. The order form on your website would be about people who want a drawing from a photo and then for drawing at live events, you want a contact me form. So usually the same company can give you those different types of forms. When I got started, I found a company called Email Me Form. And you can find them at emailmeform.com. And I used them because they had great forms where you could upload photos. And I still use that same company today. It's called Email Me Form. But you can also get those types of forms from Google Forms and some websites offer that as well so for your website well first let me tell you what the website that I used I found a, a hosting service called jimdo.com it's a drag and drop website that's what I call it drag and drop but you could also use Wix W-I-X or Squarespace and there's lots of good spots where you can get an easy website <clears throat> for like hundred and fifty dollars a year I wouldn't pay any more than that, and that is pretty affordable. $150 for a website is going to bring you, I don't know, $50,000 a year worth of business or more. I think that's a pretty good deal. You can always upgrade to a more expensive website later on if you feel like it. And one more point about marketing with a website for artists is about social media. 
uh, it's great to have a social media presence. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. But when it comes to marketing, the purpose of a social media presence is to get people to come to your website. So a website is a thousand times more important than your social media presence. The very purpose of your social media presence is to get people to come to your website because they are the audience of Facebook and Instagram or YouTube. But when they come to your website, now they are your audience. And that makes a huge difference when it comes to marketing your artwork. Okay, once I had my website and I had my order form, the next thing I knew that I needed was an email marketing platform. Because, like I said, the purpose of a website is to make sales and collect emails. So now I can make sales with my order form, and now I've got to collect emails. And the way you do that is with email marketing platform. The biggest ones I know of is Constant Contact, also MailChimp, and AWeber. And I chose AWeber because at the time when I first started my website, I had some favorite marketers who were sending me emails, and I was also reading their books. And they used a Weber, and so I chose that because you always want to be like the people you admire. But I know other companies that are using MailChimp or Constant Contact, and those programs may even be better. And there's a lot of new ones coming out every day. And once you sign up for an email marketing service, then you have to create a form that people can sign up to your email list and put that on your website. But there is a very important key that goes along with this and and I'll tell you what that is in a second but first let me tell you that the gold mine of any business or any artist is your email list it is a thousand times more important than subscribers or likes this is how you make your money when you learn who your customers are and you've got their email and you can reach out to them if you need to there is a famous marketing theory called 1,000 True Fans. And I forget who came up with that. I'll try to figure it out and uh, add that to the, uh, the text on this video. But this marketer said all any artist needs, or any type of artist, whether it's a musician or a caricature artist or a painter, all they really need is 1,000 true fans to make a great living as an artist. Because if you have 1,000 true fans... And let's say they buy a product or a couple products from you per year for around a hundred bucks, then one hundred times a thousand, that's a hundred thousand dollars a year doing what you love to do. So that's how important your email list is. And even if it's smaller than that, what if you have a list of three hundred people? That's gonna turn into a great living. Way back in the day, I used to work at Disney's Animal Kingdom drawing caricatures, and I worked side by side with several other artists. And one of the artists was telling me that she was broke and that she really needed to make some money right then. And I gave her some advice based on the marketing books I was reading. I said, you've been an artist for a while, right? She said, yeah. So I said, okay, so go through your emails, if you haven't deleted them, and find where you've emailed clients and gather up emails from as many past clients as you possibly can, whether it's years back or whatever, and then put together one email, maybe like a discount for a drawing of a caricature, and send it out to all of those clients all at once. And so I, it was a, like a week later when I came back to work there on another shift and she was there and she said, hey, James, that advice you gave me worked perfectly. I gathered up a whole bunch of emails from years back and I sent them a discount and several people ordered from me right away and they were glad that I contacted them. And I was like, well, that's great. You're the first person that ever took my advice, my advice concerning marketing, that is, but what if you set up your email system from the very start and you start collecting those emails from your first customer on and then you don't have to try to find them and hope you haven't deleted them. You'll have them all in your email list and ready to go. So what I started doing way back when, this is like 2013 or some, somewhere in that area, is I started several types of lists. I had a list of clients who bought caricatures from me 
I had another list of people who had hired me for gigs. Those were two separate lists. And then I had a list of talent agents that wanted to hire me. I even put together a list of talent agents that had not hired me yet. I looked them up on the internet and put them on my list. And then uh, also I started doing some other stuff. And so I had several different lists of people and they were categorized as the type of customer and the type of art that they wanted to buy from me. Okay, the next thing that you need to make it all work together is a free lead magnet. Now what that is, is you offer people something free, something of value to them, but it's free to them if they sign up for your email. And you want it to be sincere and something good. For example, let's see, what did I do? In the very beginning, I offered a discount code for people who signed up for my email list. So if they wanted to order a caricature from me for, for a photo, they would get a 10% discount code and they could use that when they ordered a drawing from me. But I feel like this free lead magnet has to be something good. I mean, for me, I just can't throw out anything out there. It's got to be something pretty nice. So for example, for the, uh, the tutorials list, believe it or not, I have um, a free video. Once you sign up for the list, you get a free video that's it's called uh, Three Reasons That Your Drawings Are Not Improving and How to Fix It. And I really try to give three pointers that will really help people improve their drawings quickly. And also in the first email, they get a link to a Google Drive file where I am putting together a bunch of PDF art references. I'm trying to take a lot of these YouTube videos and then put it the lesson that I'm teaching in the video and put it together on a PDF as a quick reference for what was in the video. And then eventually I'd like to take all those PDFs and put them together in a book. But right now I'm actually giving those PDFs for free along with the video that when someone subscribes. So I think that's a pretty cool gift and it's probably worth a little bit of money. I don't know, maybe it's worth $15 but uh, in return, they get on my email list. And so far, people seem to like that. But you would come up with something on your own. Try to be original and come up with something you can offer people if they sign up for your list. And then your list will begin to grow like magic. Okay, so at this point, there might be some people out there watching the video thinking, James, you told me how to set things up and, and the foundation, but I need to make some money right now. So I've got my website and my order form. I've got my email marketing platform and my lead magnet to make it work. So what do I do to start making money today? But there's one more thing you need to start doing or would really be helpful to start doing, and that is networking. Networking with other artists. You wouldn't believe how much work I've done over the years that has come to me through another artist. Some of them were good friends. Some of them just knew my name and knew that I was an artist and sent work my way. It is a ton of work and opportunities that I've done thanks to other artists who couldn't do the work. They were too busy, and so they sent it my way. The three best ways to start networking with other artists is, number one, join the International Society of Caricature Artists. You can find their Facebook page and their website. I fully encourage you to join up with them. Get involved on the website pages. They have pages where they draw each other and you can always post and ask advice from the experienced artists. The International Society of Caricature Artists or ISCA for short. And they have a caricature convention every year. Caricatures from Caricature artists from all over the world get together and draw each other and then they hand out awards for things like the fastest artist or the best likeness or the most exaggerated artist um, and it's a lot of fun and believe it or not a lot of work will come out of that. Way back in 2012 I went to my first International Society of Caricature Artists convention and I was drawing some people in my sketchbook and I met a guy there, his name was Keelan Parham, and he said that he ran about 14 of the caricature stands at Disney World in Florida. 
and I asked him if he is ever looking for a new artist. And he said, hey, I'm always looking for new artists. And that brings me to the second way to do networking with other artists, and that is go to your local theme park. I realize there might not be a theme park near everyone who's watching this video, but if there is one within driving distance, I recommend that you go to that theme park, find the person that's drawing caricatures, find out who their boss is, who is the contractor in charge of that, and try to get a job drawing caricatures over a summer and meet all the other artists that are drawing caricatures. And that way you can start making money right away, but also you're gonna meet other artists where you're gonna be able to make money from your art in the future. The third way of networking, and you can make some money with other artists, is fairs and festivals. Believe it or not, there is a group of artists that don't work at theme parks. They go around the country every year working at fairs and festivals all over the place. So the best way to do that is look for a fair or a festival in your neighborhood and go to that festival, find the caricature artist and find out who is their boss. What is the uh, artistic company in charge of those artists and find out if they're looking for new artists. And if they are, give them your portfolio, show them some examples. But the most important thing is to connect with these other artists, get their contact info. Uh, grab their Instagram info, start following and talking with them if you can. Okay, once you got your website set up with an order form and you got an email marketing platform, you got a free gift that's really cool that you're giving to people in return for their email, and you started your networking, now you got to start promoting yourself. And promoting yourself is getting out there so people know who you are and you start earning a little bit of money real quick. When I first started promoting myself, I would just draw at any opportunity for other people. For example, I had a friend of mine whose son was having a birthday and I drew caricatures at his birthday party. I did drawings for friends and for people at work. I would draw their grandfather or grandmother or their kids or their wife. Sometimes I didn't charge anything and sometimes I just charged a little bit of money, but it was all getting my self out there. In other words, people were hearing that I could draw and the word was beginning to spread and more and more people would ask for drawings. Another thing you can do is find a restaurant or a busy marketplace where there's lots of people or maybe a beach even and just start drawing caricatures for tips. You don't even ask for any money at first because you may not be sure of your uh, how good you are at drawing but just get yourself out there and start doing the thing. You know, the best success book out there is the Bible. And I'm not trying to preach to anybody, but there is a scripture in the Bible that will help you make a bunch of money. And this is it. Okay, it goes like this. Uh, Jesus said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. And what does that mean? A lot of people, a lot of times churches will quote that scripture just before they take up an offering. But I don't think... That's what Jesus meant by it, or maybe that's only part of what Jesus meant by it, to give money. I think what he was saying is give value to people. Whatever it is you do, give value to people. Make sure you're serving other people, and then the value that comes back to you will be multiplied incredibly. It is going to be much more than what you've given out, and that applies to any artist. And as an artist, you can apply that by doing drawings for people. And when you do a drawing, you always just leave a link or a QR code back to your website. So here's an idea for you. What if you went through your Facebook friends and every one of your friends on Facebook that has a good profile photo, what if you did a great drawing of that person and then sent it to them in a uh, comment on their Facebook or, or posted it on Facebook? Another thing I did when I first got started was I started doing drawings on eBay, believe it or not. I would put a custom drawing, a caricature gift, and I'd put examples and people would buy it from me and then I'd draw it and send it back to them. You can do that also on Facebook Marketplace. A couple of other places to sell drawings is Etsy and Fiverr.com. I've never sold drawings on Etsy or Fiverr because I had my website going pretty good by the time I knew about those websites. That was about, 
you know, around 10 years ago. And if you're interested in doing gigs that's drawing caricatures at events, there are websites like Gig Salad and The Bash. The Bash used to be called Gig Masters, and now it's called The Bash. And that's where you create a profile, and people who are looking for entertainment at parties, they scroll through all the different caricature artists or uh, DJs or musicians, and then they choose from there, and they ask you to send them a quote on what you might charge to draw caricatures at their party. And then also, something that costs a little bit of money is... Google advertising. So you can create an ad that says you will draw from a photo or that you'll draw caricatures at an event and you can run that ad on Google. And it's usually a pay per click. And so you can set your own budget. I mean, I would set my budget at like a dollar a day just to get started. And I think right now it's not even more than five dollars a day that I'm running ads back to my website. So when someone gets on Google and they're searching for caricature gifts or caricatures at an event your ad will pop up and they might click on it and that'll send them back to your website and remember the purpose of your website is to make sales and collect emails so once they're there hopefully you've got it set up where you can collect their email if they're not interested right now or you can go ahead and make that sale where they'll contact you or fill out your order form to get you started making some money doing what you love and there's a lot more to marketing as a thriving artist, but I just want to say one more thing, and that is the final advice would be to never give up. Because when I first started, I felt like my drawings were kind of horrible. <laughs> they really weren't worth, in my mind, getting paid to do them, but I did love to do them. And so um, I was worried about getting paid for them, but people would happily pay me. And I started doing all these things that I just told you about in this video and some more stuff. And let me tell you how it went. Believe it, it's not always easy, but the first year I made like $10,000 drawing caricatures, which is not enough money to live on, but I was doing what I loved and I decided to stick with it. So the next year I made $20,000 drawing caricatures more or less uh, still not enough to live on but hey twenty thousand dollars is uh, better than a kick in the pants right and so i continued to stick with it the third year i made enough money to live uh, full time i was living full time anyway i was just eating a lot of ramen noodles but the third year i uh really did well and now like i you may have heard me say i used to be a truck driver and I made 40000 actually $47,000 a year one year as a truck driver. But I can tell you that now I make a lot more money as a caricature artist than I, I ever did as a truck driver. And I, now I'm doing what I love instead of driving up and down the road every day looking at the same things. And so that would be my final advice is never give up. And uh, also, don't underestimate yourself. You're probably already better than you think you are. And if you would, please do me a favor and like this video so that more people will see it. It'll get out to more artists. And if you feel like you need some more help getting your caricatures strong so that you can really start making that money faster, then please click on the video that is titled caricature drawing exercises guaranteed to improve your art in that video i've got my top four caricature drawing exercises if you start doing exercises like that every day then that's really going to pump up your caricature drawing muscles and get you ready to make whatever type of money you want to make and i'm going to put a card for that video at the end of this video so please click on that and watch it and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.